Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, young people. Oh, you're a bit loud. I'm a bit loud. I'm a bit loud, apparently. Is that generally Beryl or just in life? Okay, okay. So we, we'll do that again, because obviously that was too loud and you didn't hear me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, young people. Right, the band didn't join in, did they? Good morning, young people's band. Okay, well, it's YP annual. We've got lots and lots of things to give out, lots of things to do, and we're going to start by singing two little choruses, two little songs. Uh, uh, oh, thank the band for singing Come Thou Almighty King. Thank you, band. Okay, we're going to sing Give Me Joy in My Heart. Have you got a bit of joy in your heart today? Oh, thank. Have you got joy, sister? Just say it in there. Yes. Oh. Okay. Excellent. That's one person, if nothing else. Okay, we're stand and we're sing. And then if, in the chorus, you can do whatever you want. If you want to. Is that okay? Thank you. You've got to stand up. Come on, come on, come on, up, up. I need to stay standing because we're going to sing. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart because we got joy, haven't we? We got joy. We got joy. Anyone called joy? We got a few joys, haven't we? Is it you? Are you a joy? No. Okay. Are we ready? Excellent. Well done. We'll wear them out. Excellent. I'd like to take your seats. We're now going to invite the singing company to sing Peace in Christ, after which 
Joshua is going to lead us in prayer. So Joshua... Let us pray. Father, we thank you for gathering us today here for each mind and heart that fills the presence of this room. We thank you. Bless for those who are still on their way or those who may not be with us today. We ask for safe travels and healing. In this moment, we come to you and lay our lives before you. We open our hearts to you and invite the Holy Spirit to be present amongst us. Let us worship you with all our hearts to honour and adore you. Amen. Now we have some very intelligent young people in our church, don't we? And I'm going to see whether any of the, uh, the youth are any good at maths. So any of you any good at maths? Okay, because we're going to have a bit of a maths test. And uh, we're going to pitch you against our mathematician. And we're going to do maths with Margaret. Maths with Margaret. So welcome, Margaret. 
Margaret up. Okay, Margaret. Okay, where is she? she? Oh, there she is. Okay, so Margaret is our resident mathematician. And you have got, I'm going to pit you against Margaret. So who is willing to come and pit their brains? I'll pick on you if you don't volunteer. Margaret needs a chair, Nicola. Is that all right? You, no, you don't need a brain. Okay, so are you ready? And this is Margaret. We've got some clipboards here. So who's going to do it? Who? Sophia? Okay, okay. Oh, yes, and we've got uh, young Isabella, who sang very nicely, can we say? Yes, she's very nice, yes, very nice. Uh, okay, Poppy, there is a clipboard there and some pens. Margaret, you sit down, because you're a little bit older, aren't you? Uh, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Did we all get a clipboard? Yeah, get a clipboard, that's all. Kathy's joining. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give you six numbers. Okay, six numbers. Do you want my clipboard? You can have my clipboard. I've lost it so many times today. It's unbelievable. Here we are. Here we are. So we're going to give you six numbers. They're going to come on the screen. Okay, and then we're going to give you a big number, and you've got to try and make the six numbers get to the big number. Countdown. Yes, that's countdown. Okay, that's right. Yes, countdown. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Here are your numbers. Write them down. Okay, maths with Margaret. Lum, 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 dum, dum, dum. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, Master Margaret. Keep going. Next slide. Here's the numbers. Two. Okay, two. Okay, 13. 13. 13. Nine. Okay. Ooh. Uh, four. Ooh. Do we have four. to use all the numbers? Oh, well, do you have to use all the numbers? Okay, I'm looking at you. No. no, you don't have to use all the numbers. Five. Okay, and 25, and this is the total you need to get to. 1,865. Okay, now you can times, you can divide. Oh, someone's got a calculator out, out here. Andy's going for a calculator. Okay, so when the time starts, do you, want, you can go and find someone to help you. Do you want to go and find someone to help you? Yes. No, Margaret, not you, Margaret. Okay, quickly go and find. We run out of time. This is only supposed to take 30 seconds. Okay. And he's got a calculator out, so I'd go and sit with him. He's really worth it. Okay, here we go. Who do you want? Who's going to sit? Uh, what about. Uh, would your mum be able to help you, do you think? Is she very good at maths? We're not too sure about that. She's okay. Okay, okay, we've got 30 seconds. Here we go. Okay, it's not working. Is it not working? It was working before. Okay, okay, 30 seconds. Start now. They want to see the numbers. We need the numbers. Oh, here we go. Okay, Margaret, the numbers. There they are. Okay, we Okay, we got to 20 seconds. This is this is not going as well as I thought in my mind to be quite honest. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we are. Anyone got 165? Can we have the number I think the numbers are on the next slide maybe. There we are. We want 165. There we are. Anyone got 165? Jenny, you look very bright. Have you got it? No. Miles away, okay, that's fine. Sorry. 165. Anyone got it? Margaret, did you get it? No, you gave me the answer. I gave you the answer. Oh, she's such an honest person. Okay, here we go. Here's what I did. Oh, have you got it? No. No? Anyone get it? Ah, oh, Les got it. We knew Les. Okay. Okay, this is how did you do it, Les? Four times twenty-five equals a hundred. Thirteen. Well done. Sixty-five. Well done. This is well done. I, so this is what I did. Two times nine is eighteen. Four times twenty-five. That was twenty-five, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. That it was 180, 13 times, 
Anyway, I nearly got it. Okay, well, on that uh, really successful, not successful. Right? What are the offering? No, no, we're going to have songs by the children. Thank you, Jesus. Is that all right? We're going to do the song now. Is that all right? It, the primary. Now, we're going to need the, the, the primary children now because we're going to give them their prizes. Is that all right, Margaret? So maybe the old ones could go and the younger ones could stay. Is that okay? That's it. Is there any other little primary? Not little, that's a, a Riley. Okay, does Riley want to come and join us? Uh, is this a Noah? Uh, not, um. Arthur. Okay. Are you ready? We clap them all at the end. Is that okay? Okay. Alice. Thank you. Yeah, go stand over there. Okay. Luca. Oh, look, these are books called My Little Book of Bible. <laughs> okay. Grace. Oh, Grace, are you coming down? This is the Candle Bible for Toddlers. Are you coming down? I think mummy be able to read you this. Oh, the strange man. Thank you. There we are. Can you hold that? It's heavy. Yes, it does. Bertie. Are you right, my friend? Own. Lyle. Oh. There we are. Now I've got one for Riley. Is Riley going to come up? Riley's coming with Nanny, and Nanny and Grandad celebrates their 
40th wedding anniversary today. So, yes. There we are. There we are, Riley. Nice to see you. There we are. Thank you. Arthur. Oh. Thank you. That's okay. Lovely. Going to stand there. Is that one? I think that's everyone that's here. So we are going to give them all a big clap and a cheer. <laughs> that's that. That's them sorted for the rest of the meeting then, isn't it? Okay. Now we have a Bible reading. Our Bible readings today are from Deuteronomy. Oh, and Mark. Now, we've got uh, some young people coming to read for us. And we did put a box there just in case they're too short and you can't see them. But they're not. They're going to sit at the front. That's okay. The first Bible reading this morning is from the Deuteronomy. Chapter 6, verses 5 to 8. Say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Memorize his laws and tell them to your children over and over again. Talk about them all the time, whether you're at home or walking along the road or going to bed at night or getting up in the morning. Write down copies and tie them to your wrist and forehead to help you obey, obey them. The second Bible reading is from Mark t- chapter 12, verse 20, 28 to 31. The most important common one of the teaching of the law of Moses came up while Jesus and the Sadducees were arguing when he heard Jesus give a good answer. He, ha- he asked him what is the most important commandment. Jesus answered the most important. One thing, people of Israel, you have only one Lord and God. You must love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second most important commandment says, love others as much as you love yourself. No other commandment is more important than these. Amen. Now we've got Laura here today and uh, we've got our, thir- our second challenge. Let's hope the second one is a bit more uh, successful than the first one. Uh, so uh, our second challenge is heart and it is, what is it? Let's see if it comes, make Laura laugh. Oh, now Laura is a professional teacher and she has been trained not to laugh, show any emotion or generally before Christmas. Is that right? Always before Christmas. You cannot smile before Christmas. I to- Nicola told me that uh, when we got married. I can't smile before Christmas. I'm still waiting for Christmas to come. But there we are. <laughs> so, um, so we... Was that rude? I don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So here's Laura. There's a seat for Laura. Okay. We're going to put her there. Now, any young people want to stand at the front here and see if they can make Laura laugh? Now, let's see whether they can make Laura... Now, you're going to have 30 seconds. Hopefully, it might work. We're not too sure. Come down the front here. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch... Come down here. You're not allowed to touch Laura in any way. Okay? You can only use gestures. And uh, can they make funny noises? They can make funny noises. Anyone else going to try and make Laura laugh? Okay. Now, the rules are, Laura, you can't close your eyes. Okay. Or put your hands over your ears. Okay. So, are you ready? We've got 30 seconds to see whether we can make Laura laugh. Excellent. Okay. Here we go, then. Let's see if it works. Go on, then. (laughs) 
Come on, all of you, you need to be doing something. Well done, Laura. That means you're... Show, show them your faces. See what faces. Let's see your face there, Luca. Lyle, Luca. Lu Luca, Luca, show them your face. That's a good face. What was your face? Oh, my dear. Oh, your face. Oh, there we are. Your face. That's it. Okay. Excellent. I'm not too sure they made us laugh or not. Okay. We're going to sing a song, and it's Jesus Be the Center. Give us an opportunity to uh, stand and uh, sing this song through, after which we're going to have the announcements. But uh, our resident announcer is not able to uh, do the announcements today, so we have some young people to stand in for her. So that's going to be exciting. So uh, we're stand, and we're singing these verses through. Thank you. And I think that Poppy and Amber are going to give our announcements for us. Here they come. But before they just do that, I'm just going to mention it's good to see Linda and her family today. And our thoughts are with you at this sad time. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the Salvation Army Staple Hill on this on this RYP annual. Last week, Nicola reminded us of the importance of meeting together for people watching online and to try and gather in person. And it's good today to welcome Jean Mouse. Mousley, um, who usually follows the meeting 
online all the way from Canada. It's lovely to see you. You will find all the information. You will find all the information you need to know about what is happening in the or on the weekly bulletin to make sure that you pick up a copy in the lobby before you leave. You will see two appeals for help. One, if you are free tomorrow, Monday the 17th, around 9.30 to clean and tidy the hall, please speak to Colin. Two, Messy Church needs clean, empty jam jars. The Messy Church for one of its crafts on the 30th of October. Come and join us this, um, this afternoon at 4 p.m. for the divisional welcome to our new divisional leaders, Paul and Jill Burrard, here at the hall. Me the meeting will be supported by our own band in the Citadel Songsters uh, and will be led by our territorial commanders. Finally, congratulations to the Wesley Challenger who is turning 90 today and to Ian and Rachel Roberts who are also celebrating their Ruby anniversary today. Thank you to Daisy who provided the flowers for our holiness table in memory of Irene and also Ian and Rachel.
So uh, we've had an opportunity to uh, look at our mind with Maths with Margaret. And it's coming to a YouTube channel near you. Uh, uh, and uh, we've had... Uh, we'd we'll probably do it down here. It might be safer. Uh, uh, we've, had, uh, we've had a look at our hearts and we've tried to make Laura laugh. And uh, I think the challenge is still up for that, isn't it, Laura? Yes, uh, if afterwards you want to try and make Laura laugh and cheer her heart, then uh, you could do that. Now, in our Byron, it also talked about strength. Okay, so I need some volunteers who are under eight. Okay, I need some volunteers who are under eight. Is that all right? Okay, well, who's eight? How old are you, 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 you young ladies there? Seven, eight, and where's, uh, where's um, Maria? Well, you can come down then. Come on then. Because our next challenge to do with strength is arm wrestle Joe. Okay, Joe, come down, my friend. You've got to go okay, over this side, over this side. This, okay. Okay, this is Joe. Joe's our resident strong man. Okay. This is why the, young, the women are on the front row here. They knew that Joe was going to be doing, her, uh, doing, her, doing this. Uh, you've got a whole little, whole little choir. Of, there, look, there, see, look. They're always on the back row. They heard you were taking part. They come to the front. So what we're going to do is... It, what? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have the timer up, okay, and every five seconds, another person can be added to the arm wrestle. Okay? Luca, you go first, and then you carry on, and then who's going second? Okay, then you have to jump in there and help L L Luca, and then it, at 15 seconds, you have to get in there, and there'll be three of you against him, and at 20 seconds, Kathleen, you're going to jump in there, so that'll be one, two, three, four trying to take him out, and then... Uh, take him out. Probably that's not the words for a Sunday morning. Okay. And then, Maria, if they're still standing, it's up to you to add your strength to the matter. Is, do you know what you're doing? So, one, two, three, four, five. Five seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, twenty seconds, twenty-five seconds. You're all trying to get him down. So, at the end, it's going to be a bundle. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. Okay. So, are we ready? Right. Get your arm out. Get the tension going. Tension, okay, so which way are you going? Okay, so when you get on, you need to push that way, okay? All right, and push, push, okay. Do you reckon, he, what do you think? We'll take a sweepstake. Oh, no, no, we, no, we won't do that. Okay, okay, is, is he started already? No. He's not started. Okay, here we go then. Oh, is it sound? Here we go then. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. No, 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 you're not supposed to start yet. Now, 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 now. Okay, uh, uh. now. Now, now, oh, now you, you, oh, your go, your go, that's it, oh, 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 is he, okay, okay, right, your go, Maria, that's it, we need another one, anyone else want to quickly join in? Ah, uh, oh, 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 well done, Joe, well done, oh, was that okay, ladies, on the front row there? That's okay? Okay. Okay, then. Right, then. Sing coming. Oh, we're going to give the prize giving now to the young people, the children, from ch Children's Church. So who's in Children's Church? Laura, do you want to sort them out? Excellent. Am I giving the prizes out? Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Stand there, that's it. I'll call you out one by one. I was shaking hands with this hand, okay? Okay. Right, here we go first. Laura, are you coming down or what? Are you just standing up there? Having a little rest? Okay. Just, could I help this? Okay. Here we go. 101 great big questions about God and science. Ooh. Kathleen. Well done, Kathleen. We'll clap at the end. Is that all right? Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. That's it. Oh. Doodle devotions for kids? Hmm. Sophia, 
Oh. Thank you very much. Do you do devotions for kids? Maria. Oh, I thought we were going to fall into my arms then. Okay. Hands on Bible, 365 devotions for kids. Poppy, excellent announcing, by the way. Thank you. Amber, how do we know that Christianity is really true? Oh, that's a very good question, isn't it? Excellent. I like your dress. It's very nice. Anyway, is that everyone? Excellent. Oh, did Grace want to come and get Archie's? Do you want to bring, bring her Andy? Nicola is now looking for that book. So just take your time. And will you pass it on to, would you pass it on to Archie for us, Grace? Okay, can I shake your hand for, uh, and would you give that one, this, this back to uh, Archie? And that's for Archie. Thank you very much. Excellent. Is that? So we're going to give all our young people. Okay, now our young people went to summer school this year, and uh, I think 17, about 17, 19 young people went to summer camp, which is uh, held in our divisional head, by our, facilitated by our divisional headquarters. They go and have a week of fun and activities and discussion, and they all came back wonderfully enthused. So much so that they knocked their water bottles over with excitement. Our, um, but they learn new songs, and uh, they'd like us to sing one with them today. So is that all right? Now, uh, you can sit down for the first bit, but once you get going, you can stand up. Is that all right? So you lot need to stand up first, because that will make everyone behind you stand up. Okay. okay, now the song is Start a Fire. So I think everyone on the platform could stand up that went to summer camp, can't they? I think so, and I think one or two of them might come forward and sing into the microphones, and oh, the, more than one or two. We are blessed today. We're going to start a fire. Do you need a glass of water? I mean, it is a, okay, I just, okay. Okay, now the words come on the screen. I don't particularly know it very well myself, so maybe turn the microphone off. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, no, while I sing in. I think I joined the worship band by default, but there we are. Here we go then. Thank you.
Now, uh, it's really been good over the last couple of weeks. We've been able to get to know each other a little bit better with this time tomorrow. And uh, I thought it would be quite nice if one of the young people would like to tell you what they're doing this time tomorrow. So, uh, Bella and, uh, is going to come and talk to us. And Joe's going to ask the questions. And after they've um, done this, the YP band are going to bring... Uh, sing your praises. So I'm sure we'd just like to give Bella and Joe a little encouragement. Going on. Lovely. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so you, we've been discussing our front lines a lot in youth uh, after the meetings. And so I've got to know uh, Isabel's front lines quite well, but what an opportunity for her to share it with you. So, Isabel, uh, what will you be doing this time tomorrow? School. Okay. Do you like school? Love it so much. Love it so much. I felt there was a bit of sarcasm in there, I don't know about you. <laughs> but what is your favourite thing about school? I like doing PB. PB? Yeah, philosophy and beliefs. Okay, and why is that your favourite thing to do? I don't know, because it's like, it's just your imagination really. You don't really have to have proof. It's just, I don't know. No, that's great. But what do you find it challenging? Do you find anything about that subject challenging? No. No? But I do find reading struggling. Like, I struggle reading. Struggle reading. I, I hated reading when I was younger. Uh, the only thing I've ever read, really, is Harry Potter. Uh, about seven times. So I feel you on that one. Um, but uh, what is, like, God's purpose for you there? What do you feel? Like, do you feel God working for you in that environment, in that, sed in that subject? Do you feel like you can take what we've been learning and talking about in these sessions to those classes? Uh, yeah, because I can talk to my friends about it. And do you find that easy to talk to your friends? Yeah, because they talk about their stuff too. Oh, no. I always found during school it was very difficult to talk to my friends, so it's great that you feel uh, encouraged and enabled to talk to your friends. Um, but what strengthens and empowers you then to talk to your friends? Because they're just nice and they're not judgy. Not Anything else? Uh, I don't know. Do you think that meeting here as a group that we do, and like Nicola's been talking about, about gathering together really helps you to uh, get that knowledge and the, the courage to talk to your friends? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And what can we pray for you? How can we pray for you? Is there anything in particular that you want for the next week or so that you want us to pray for you? No. Have we got any big decisions coming up at school? Because what year are you in? I remind me, you're in year nine. Nine. So you'll probably be making some decisions at this end of the year for what you want to study into GCSEs. Yeah. So do you think we, would you want us to pray for you for that? I nearly finished my grade one book in piano, so I might be doing like an exam. So. Okay. So we'll pray for you for your exam. I was always terrible at grades, so uh, you'll probably be better, way better than I am. Well, is there anything else that you want to share with us today? Or anything else we can pray for you? Nah. No? Should we give Isabella a round of applause for sharing what she'll be doing this time tomorrow? <laughs> Should we just say a prayer now for Isabella and all our young people? And dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with Isabella tomorrow as she goes to school as uh, she thinks about her future and, and the choices she, she needs to make for exams, that you will give her a, a peace in her heart uh, over these coming days. We pray for every young person that's attached to our church here in Staple Hill. We just thank you for them, and we pray that we will be able to nurture and disciple them so that they will become established and rooted in their faith. Amen. Okay, uh, before the white band play uh, their piece, uh, I was uh, privileged to be uh, down here yesterday afternoon with our young people and uh, share some time and fellowship with them. And the piece the white band are going to play is Sing Your Praises, and it's based on the song Father God, I Wonder. And within the verse it says that I am adopted into your family. And that's what I felt out. All our young people are it's just one big family. And that showed, especially yesterday afternoon in the fellowship we had together. So here's the white band with Sing Your Praises. Daddy. 
Excellent, thank you. Now we've had our primary, we've had our children's church, and now we've got our young people who we're going to uh, acknowledge. So, uh, Tash and... Is that all right? Yeah, I think so. Should we do those ones? I'm just getting instructions. It's a daily occurrence, if not hourly. Uh, um, now... This is the first time we've really had a, uh, a prize giving uh, for several years due to, to lockdown and quite a few of our young people have moved from, uh, from children's church up to our youth group and when they do that we like to buy, buy them a Bible, a youth Bible and so um, I think we're just going to, to do that now uh, to acknowledge those young people and then we'll do the others in a minute. Okay, so. Okay, so the first person I've got here is Noah. So would you like to come and join us, Noah? You went up this year, didn't you? Noah's just gone to secondary school. So uh, thank you very much. There we are. No, 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 no. Gracie as well. Here she comes. There we are. Thank you very much. Vimbai. Nice to see you. There we are. Thank you. Isabella. Oh, here she comes.
Now, I'm sure we would like to congratulate our young people on becoming teenagers and, or thereabouts. But all our young people are going to get a prize now, okay? And uh, uh, how are we going to do that, Tash? Going to call them out or are we going to just get them all in? No, no, get more down, that's fine. Yeah, no. I can... They don't want to listen to me. Okay, quick then. Josh, we need Josh. We need one Josh or the other. Got one Josh? Okay, here we go. Other Josh? If you had been quicker, you would have been the first Josh. Either of the Emilys? Okay, the answer's not here. Jess! And then Bella, where did she go? Oh, there she is. Here we are. Thank you very much. Ta. Okay. Ash. Harry. It's behind me. Oh, crumbs. Thank you. Finbai. Oh, she's just there. There we are. Okay. Vicky. Thank you. Yanni? There she is. Oh, you look a peach. Noah? Okay. Gracie? Senan? Ah, oh, here he comes. It's a cool dude. Matt, Matthew, basically everyone's name's abbreviated in youth. Any others? Okay, that's everyone that's here, but there are another sort of nine to give out. So uh, there we are. So I think that we should give them all a big clap. Is that all right? Thank you very much. Now the fourth, uh, I think that I'd like uh, um, all the people who help in primary, in Lighthouse Club Children's Church, and in youth to stand up. Help, help, that's not you, you don't help, Senna. No, who, the helpers, the helpers. Okay, so, so if you'd like to stand, some of you are upstairs, some of you are downstairs, if you help, Neil, you're not standing, are you? You're young people's band. Yeah, section leader as well. Yeah, old Andy, you help with learners. Come on. Now, these people give of their time every week. And we are so blessed to have them. Aren't we? I think we're more blessed than that. We're blessed, aren't we? And we would just like to thank you for all that you do. The young people would like to thank you. We would like to thank you. Because one of the areas that we are talking about today is people's souls. And you nurture and look after our young people's souls. So we're not going to clap for 30 seconds, because that might be a bit too long, but we're going to give a clap. Is that okay? Now, I have literally got three minutes to do a 20-minute a talk, okay? So, uh, can we get it? Yes, just there, get it. Yeah, please. Okay, because um, today, we're going to go on to the slide 18, is it or something? Um, so, today we're talking about love, and we love God, and uh, one of the ways we love God is through our worship, and... Uh, um, so, uh, obviously, uh, uh, it is time for the ship to come out, and uh, here we are, we're in the worship. Okay.
the worship. Worship. Do you get it? Nathan, you just raised your eyes there. It's as if like you didn't you didn't like that. It's gone down a bit. Okay. Is there a hole in my boat? I think some boat loving person. It's, it's my worship. So we're gonna talk just very quickly. Do you like my boat? Drink it a sink. What do you think, Luca? Do you think? No. Okay. All right. So quickly. So we're gonna talk about wor Okay, because this is a well, if you think it is a ship, I mean, you need to get therapy, I tell you. But, uh, um, but uh, it's about worship. Okay, I haven't got slides, I don't know what's going on. I haven't got a clicker, but we're going. So worship, we talked about that earlier. Worship the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Okay, but what stops us from worshipping God? We're going to quickly, what might sink our worship? What might, what might sink our worship? Oh, goodness me. Oh, oh. Bright lights, okay, might sink our worship because we, we might be attracted to the bright lights, might we? And they might not be good things that we need to do. That might sink our worship. Our Saturday night in the bright lights might affect our worship on the Sunday. Does that make sense? Okay, what's the next thing? Wanting things. Oh, now can someone help me? Because I really want some gold coins. I really want... Oh, there's one there. Oh, I really want some... God, this, I must have lost weight since I did this before. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, is there a, oh, I'll come around. Oh, thank you very much. Can someone help me find some gold coins? Luca and Lyle, you can help me. And, can you... Is there, oh, I really want... Oh, and that, that, that sinks our worship. Oh, sorry, dear. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. She has got one. There we are. Thanks very much. Okay. Oh, 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 thank you very much, Arthur. Thank you very much. Oh, I've got two there. Thank you very much. Oh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Oh, so Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This is going down. I don't know why it's going down. Okay. That's why. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you know, when we get distracted, our worship is it's distracted by our wants. And our desires, isn't it? By what we concentrate our minds and our hearts on. I've got my captain thing, am I? I found my captain baseball cap. There we are. Okay, so we want those things. We want bright lights. We're detracted like moths to the bright lights. We want things that affects our were. Were. Thank you very much. Okay, what other things might sink our worship? Itchy ears. Itchy ears. Oh, oh, what's she talking about over there? That Miriam, she's always having a, having a little chat. What are you talking about? What are you talking about without with Grace? Oh, she's not interested. No, okay, oh, sorry. Okay. Do you know um, what might sink our were? Is our itchy ears. And Paul talks about itchy ears in 1 Timothy chapter 4. It's a really good little verse. You know, we get distracted by listening to what, watching our phones and looking on our phones during worship and uh, things along those lines. Is that all right? So what, Nicola, we need these things next. Have you got them? Oh, but that's the next thing. Okay. Now the other things, the other things that might sink our were, okay, our were, okay, so we've got bright lights and storms. Oh, we don't like storms, do we? Do you know what happens in storms? Oh, you might get. We need to do it, yeah. You can't get the team, can you? In storms, it's very buffety like this, isn't it? I might make you seasick, ladies. There we are. There we are. And the and the rain comes down. Can you make a bit of rain noise? And it starts thundering. Woo! You've given one to our son. Ah, 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 You know, things try to sink our worship. And worship is more than just coming on a Sunday and putting on your worship boat or putting on 
your uniform or your best Sunday outfits. Worship is about all day, every day. And very quickly, so quickly that you're going to miss it if you blink an eye. Okay? Okay, because SOS, what does that stand for? <laughs> save our, no, not save our ship, save our souls. That's right, save our souls. And there he is. Okay, how can we save our souls? Well, we need Jesus, but these are the four things that we need to do. We need to worship we're the Lord your God with all your, with all your, with all your, and with all your. Thank you very much. Let's have you lot doing it with all your, with all your, with all your mind and with all your. Thank you very much. So we need to worship Lord with our heart. And there might be a slide that it says heart. Who knows? And it says there in Matthew chapter 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see. Who will they see? So we need, during the week, 24 hours, we need to be pure in heart. And so we need to be careful what we do, what we look at, you know, on the internet. You know what I mean? We need to, what we have a conversation about, we need to be pure in heart. We need to... <sighs> Next one. <laughs> need to what? Breathe. Okay. What's the next worship? Worship with all your soul. And in uh, 1 Peter, it says that God is the guardian of our soul. And the band like to play guardian of their soul, don't we? It's a nice piece of music. But do you know who, is a, who looks after your soul during the week? During the week. Not on a Sunday for an hour, but who looks after your soul during the week? You know, you, someone else. Oh, God says in 1 Peter that God is the guardian of our souls. And we need to allow God to do that. And then that quickly, because we run out of time, quickly. Mind. Do you know, God give us a brain. And some of us are very good mathematicians. And some of us are good geographic people. And some of us are just good at na knocking holes in walls. That's me. And uh, uh, do you know, but you know, all right, see ya. Thanks for coming. Okay, but we need to continue our, to work out our, our salvation. We need to keep thinking about what we believe in. Not just on a Sunday, but during the week. What do we think? We need to fear without trembling. And then the last thing is our strength. Where do we get our strength from? Well, it says in Ephesians that uh, we get our strength from God, that he may strengthen you with the power of his spirit. And so we need to use our strength. And so it's a fourth thing. If we think that worship is for an hour on a Sunday and it involves just a specific thing, then we will not grow because we need to engage our hearts, we need to engage our minds, we need to engage our souls, and we need to engage our strength. Not just on a Sunday, but all week. Is that all right? We got there in the end. What's the last slide? And this is what Nicola's preached about. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday life, what you, when you sleep, when you eat, and you're going to work, and you're walking around, you're going to school, and place it before God every day as an offering. And so that's where we got to today. So we're in our... Were, you could do better than that. This is our were... Ship. And the, the question is, is do we take our were off when we get home and we leave it there? And then next Sunday morning we come back and we pick up our were. And then that's it for another hour and then we take it off. Or do we were all week our every day is our responsibility to worship every day all day and we will grow in god's love in all we do right that's it that's for me did uh, uh, what's next now i've lost everything a song have we got time for a song oh i don't know the coffee's going cold don't know if we can be bothered want to go home to take my boat off my worship okay praise lord your praises for both of us and then fin by is going to share our closing prayer with us. And what will happen is it would be like Strictly Come Dancing. We will mop the floor very quickly while we're singing this song so that no one falls over. Health and safety. Okay. Do you stand? And off we go.
Dear God, I want to pray for young people all over the world and that we use our front lines to help them get closer to God and bless everyone this week as we go out into our front lines and help other people get to know God. Amen.